Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit more about input, but before we do, please check out the description box as always. Um, all the nice links, drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. All right, let's just keep going. So, how does our, our stuff look? What my idea here is to not use this in entity update. Okay, that's not what I want to do. Um, what I want to do is take care of all input outside. Okay, so what I'm going to do in state.cpp or state.h, what I'm going to do is we have update key binds here. Do I already have update key binds? Okay, game update key binds. Check for quit. Hmm, that's a bad name. Why did I do that? Update input is basically what I want. So go ahead and do that in state.h, state.cpp. Nope, not gonna need that. Here, uh, state dot game state dot h just, let's just change the name quickly it doesn't really matter update input that's a lot better okay so we're gonna update the input and then we're gonna do the player update right there um okay okay i guess i guess i guess that's i guess that's fine and then in entity.cpp, all of this stuff, we're just going to remove that. And we're going to put it in update input, okay? So, player input. And we're probably going to make a function for this later. But I don't have that much time this video to do that. Uh, this player.move. So, you just add this player dot after all of these. Because what we're going to do is we're going to use STD map to create a set of um, valid, valid, what do you call it, inputs. And then we'll be able to rebind them. So in that way, we'll be able to have supported keys in our engine. And then in the different states, we can bind them to do different things. Okay. And that's going to help us. Uh, STD map is going to help us with that. And here also, what I'm going to do here is if target target equal this window okay that's what I'm gonna do target okay so if there's nothing bound to target uh, we'll bind target to window or we'll set target to window otherwise we'll just render with whatever whatever target we got so let me just try this out before we keep going and then we're gonna create a few maps and a few things which will be pretty cool in this video, hopefully, and then in the next video, yeah, it works. In the next video, we're going to uh, create a little keybinds file and and try to do that, and then we'll create a main menu and options so you can change the keybinds and everything. So it's all cool, like in-game or engine stuff. Uh, so to get started with that, I'm just gonna close just about everything here, and then we're gonna go into game.h, and I have states here. I'm gonna have std map. We call it map. Now, the way map works is it's just like a regular array almost. It's just that we uh, get keys instead of indexes. Okay, so there's something called a key, uh, which usually I like to do a std or I can do a char pointer. And then we'll have a... Um, what is the key? Uh, SF key. Keyboard key public enum sf keyboard key sf keyboard key a so that is a an integer an integer so let's just call it int okay uh, supported keys keys okay so that's the supported keys that there are yeah that's the support keys there are and we're going to initialize those so void init keys okay and in that we will we will add 
the keys that are supported. Now I want to show you something. If we go to right SF keyboard and then we right click, go to definition, we'll see the enum list for the SFML keys. So A is 0, B is 1, C is 2 and so on and so on. And that way we can add supported keys to our map. So this supported keys dot and place uh, and then we're just gonna give it the name so I'm just gonna say a and it's gonna be zero so that's gonna be a supported key also you see how we can use a file to do this later so it'll be a lot easier so a uh, D um, W and s so there's a bunch of keys there let's see let's see what those do um, what we could do here is SF keyboard key A. Um, can you just do SF key A? Keyboard key A. Okay, fine, I guess. And then you can just use that here. D, W, S. Okay. Uh, so there we got a few different keys that are supported now. So if I if I get if I do this if I say std see out this supported keys at position A. Okay. Um, at A most probably. Let's see. Maybe we should use std string instead. Let me just do that. std string. And then we'll go back. Yeah, that's that's better. Um, okay, and then a new line. Then it should print out zero. Okay, so let me just try this after I init keys. Okay. Then we'll actually have those supported. Then we can choose from those and assign different things. So it said zero there, see? So that's your key A. Um, and for now, we'll just we'll just keep this. Uh, I could do one more, just on top here and say escape, key escape. Escape. And I'm gonna try to keep the names the same, just so they're, um, they make sense. Okay, so there you go. Now we got those supported keys. Now I want to send this supported keys map further in to our game, okay? And the way, first of all, init keys should be before init states, okay? Because some, we're going to have to initialize states with the keys. That's good. So we're going to have to change that in here as well. Init states, init windows, init keys. Just so we keep the order. Okay. So that's good. So for example, here I do a new game, game state window, and then I'm probably going to do this supported keys. Okay. So go into your state.h, close everything else, just state.h. Uh, we will, in the constructor, make sure we do a std map pointer. Um, support supported keys okay and we're gonna probably have to give a std string string int here uh, and a pointer to that and supported keys okay um just copy this and put it in state dot cpp uh, in the constructor here sorry about the sound Okay, and then the state itself, I think, should keep, this is a resource, so I'm just going to put the resource further down here. So I'm thinking having some core stuff here, and then the resources, uh, std map, std string, ring int supported keys. Just so I have those saved here. Okay. Um, 
And now I'll make a little comment here. Resources. And there we go. So there, I'm just going to set this as supported keys equals supported keys. Um, good. Good, good, good. That's great. That's great. So now we have a list of the supported keys that our engine will support. Uh, hopefully we'll I'll fill this we'll fill this up with all the keys existing, obviously. Uh, so that should be cool. And I think my game state needs that too. STD vector. No, I'm just gonna copy it from state.c. I'm just gonna copy this. Okay, put it in game state.cpp like this. And then just send it supported keys into the initialization list here. And then game state.h is going to need some love in too. It's gonna do that. Boom. Okay, and then we got update input and everything, so that's that's cool. That's cool. Um, nice, nice. Now, now um that is that is great that is great so now we're gonna need a std map in state.h we're gonna need another map std string and then int okay and this is not going to be a pointer as such this is just going to be uh key binds key binds and each state's gonna have its own key binds, okay? And it's gonna be empty. And I'm gonna make an initializer here, a protected function, functions, void init. Let's see, so this is state.h, let me just think here. Void init key binds. I'm going to set it to zero. So we have to define that. And that helps us so that each state is going to have to define a key bind thing. So it's going to have its own key binds. And we're going to initialize them depending on the supported keys. So for example, let me just show you an example. So we don't need to do anything more here. We'll define in game state, we'll define the uh, functions okay uh, virtual not virtual actually we don't need virtual uh, it's void in it key binds okay I'm just gonna do that as a private function define this hope I'm not going too fast guys I'm trying to I'm trying to think on my feet here uh, but there we go so we got our init key binds uh, all of this supported keys is going to be sent in and then we're going to call this init key binds in here okay in the constructor for game state um, which is which is very very nice which is very nice uh, cool 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 okay and then we can initialize the key binds here so now that we have the supported keys keys and I can say for example a okay that will give me back a a number dot at a okay that will give me back a number all right so that will give me back a zero so there is a key that is supported and then I can say like this I can say this key binds uh, dot m place give it a name some type of function okay move left and then this supported keys a see so I created a function here basically functionality which will use a supported key a which is supported by the the engine so I'm gonna create some more of these move left move right move up and this is only for this state, okay? So each state will be able to use these supported keys to do different functionalities. Uh, and place move up, move down. So move right will be D, move up will be W, move up will be S. So if this doesn't exist, it will probably crash. So we're gonna have to fix some type of uh, thing here just to make sure that we don't crash. 
Um, yeah, so that's cool. And then we can use we can use files to kind of load these key binds in. Okay, so if it says A, I'll I'll do supported key A, move left. So there will be there will be this nice little structure we can use. Uh, might not be the best function or the best way to do this. Obviously, there are better ways to do it, uh, but this is just the way I'm doing it right now. If you have better ways, please tell me. You know, I could I could check it out. Um, but yeah, there we go. So now we'll have initialize some key binds. So instead of doing if SF keyboard pressed keyboard A, which is fixed, I can use this uh, key binds at what is this function move left all right um let's see uh, sf key sf key keyboard key oh yeah this is how you have to do it keyboard key and then this beautiful long long line which is really really nice um and then key move what would that be move right okay like that uh, so I'm just gonna copy the whole thing actually and then just paste it in here there we go move up minus one yeah move down okay so you go now we got a bunch of shit going this is probably gonna crash and I've gone long beyond my my timer so I'm probably gonna have to keep working on this in the next video but let's just run this probably gonna crash uh, since we got a bunch of mats and shit maps everything yeah uh, uh, so there we go supported keys you got to do the reference there in game.cpp and we'll run this again Okay, did not crash, did crash eventually. All right, so basically I had init keys was below init states and that's what messed us up. Uh, I just had to fix that, all right? So now, there we go. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And before I totally let you go, just make sure that it runs as well. It would be smart. Yeah, it does run. So there you go. Just go into game.cpp and change the order there. But yeah, again, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Hope you learned something uh, really complicated stuff going on sometimes but you know i'm trying to go slow uh, but thanks again take care and i'll see you guys and girls in the next one right bye bye